these people are dressed up. Hey, PC Meg, this is Coco Rocha, and we are at Fashion 2.0. I think these sort of events are very important in that fashion and technology, we've been talking about it for a very long time, but uh, they, the two need to, to come together and this is the perfect example of, of showing people out there that it is coming together. In fact, they're doing it so well that they get awards for it. Please welcome the wickedly talented <laughs> one and only Zane Peterson. <laughs> This is not my first time at the rodeo, kids. Um, a few years ago, Yuli Ziv, who is the founder of the 2.0 Awards and Style Coalition, asked me to come and host the awards. And we had such an amazing time, and it's really shined a light for me on how important the work that Yuli is doing in really intersecting the world of fashion and technology. There's five innovators in my category, and I think that they got it spot on. ASOS, who has uh, half a million readers, and which is insane for online readership. And then Michael Kors, who has two million Instagram followers. I don't even have two million Instagram followers. I wish I had two million Instagram followers. Ralph Lauren, with his uh, 4D creative way of presenting a, a campaign to DKNY, who is amazing on Twitter, and she keeps winning every single year, so who knows? There's no real secret. I think it's just real, and I don't have a content calendar. We have an amazing team uh, that works on all of our, you know, the completely a group effort for all our online marketing and PR, and um, it's just, it's just, I think it's passion. You know, at a custom apparel, uh, you know, we have a 3D body scanner in our store. Customers come in and get measured, and that's really one part of the process where we really want to know really in-depth information about customers' bodies so we can make them the best possible clothing. It's really about combining online and offline. We are at the frontier of a new universe. Wearable technology is not beautiful, but we are moving in the direction where it is going to become beautiful because I think that everybody kind of feels rude when they look at their phone. And I think that it's moving rapidly. We don't know where it's going, but it's definitely going to wearable. I think everyone wants to do it because it's the thing to do right now, personally. I don't wear technology, I use technology, but you never know.